Hello, welcome to the vicarage of St. Luke's Church, Eccleshill, for our service of morning prayer this morning. In order to take part in it, you'll need to have a Bible of your own so you can read the Word of God in your own comfort, at your own speed, and you can pause and think about what it means for you. And there will be pauses in the video uh, where you can do that, so you'll need to have the video remote so that you can put me on hold for a while. We need to have the inspiration of God the Holy Spirit in our hearts and on our lips. And so our service begins with that plea to our God. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Let us worship the Lord in song. Let us express our love and adoration of him. I just want to praise you, lift my heart and say I love you, you're everything to me, and I exalt your holy name on high. I just want to praise The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Please pause this video as you pray yourself. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Each morning and each evening the Church of England sets psalms so that we can use them uh, in approaching God, in reflecting on them, in expressing to God how we might feel. Here's a metrical version, a sung version, of one of the psalms for today. Sustain me with your spirit so free. 
created me a clean heart, O oh God, and put a new and right spirit in me. Father God, so tender towards us, all we are you formed and you planned. Your compassion is ever before us, and we, though dust, are held in your hand. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and put a new and right spirit in me. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and put a new and right spirit in me. And you might like to pause the video and look up the book of Psalms and read the appointed scriptures for yourself in your own Bible. Our service has an Old Testament and a New Testament reading. The Old Testament one focuses on the book of Genesis and we're looking at the story of the life of Abraham's children. Please pause the video and read the appointed part of Genesis for today. In the New Testament, we're looking at the pastoral epistles, the letters of Paul to Timothy and Titus. Please pause the video and read the appointed part of Scripture in your own Bible.
I generally try to respond to the New Testament reading with an appropriate hymn, if I can, uh, so here's one uh, which struck me as fitting in with today's Bible passage. Bless the God of Israel, come to save as prophets tell, born of David's line and dwelling here among us, Jesus. As the law and prophets told, God has loved us from of old, and he longs to save and fold us in the arms of Jesus. In the covenant God planned, he would save us from the hand of our foes and make us stand secure and strong in Jesus. John the Baptist told this news, calling Greeks and calling Jews. Hear the gospel, think and choose to come and follow Jesus. Now God's mercy, truth and light shines on those who live in night, shines on all of us, inviting us to follow Jesus. So let us pray, let us put before God the concerns of our hearts, and let's respond to him uh, in the way that we express our needs. Please pause the video and use the time for praying. The Collect for this week, the week after the third Sunday before Lent. Almighty God, you alone can bring order to the unruly wills and passions of sinful people. Give us, your people, grace to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that our hearts may be surely fixed where true joys can be found on Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And please join me in praying the Lord's Prayer as Jesus taught his first disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with us now and evermore. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.